Virtual Box. It is a terrible virtual machine manager. It's free. It's on every single operating system. It's easy to use. That's all it has going for it. But when you look at the comparison or performance comparison here, let's just uh, launch into VirtualBox. I wanna show you QMU by comparison. So here's this little Arch one. It's using the same setup. This uses a VMDK file that both have. Let's just kind of test how long this takes. Put a little timer on the screen here, just so you can kind of get, hey, how long is the startup time for this particular one. Same VMDK file, everything's identical with these systems. I just wanted to show you VirtualBox here, which isn't horrible, right? It has virtualization enabled, so it's not super laggy. We're throwing six processors at it, so it's, it, it's moving along. It's not awful. But when you compare it to QME, you get a little bit different story. So we'll just close that out and we'll launch into QEMU or Vert Manager is its front end. And we're just gonna open it up and we're gonna hit start. Same thing. And we're just gonna boot right into it. See how this does by comparison. Just a, just a wee bit faster, don't you think? I mean, I had a whole giant epilogue there of, hey, this is everything that's happening with VirtualBox and with QMU, it was, I, I wanna say that was less than 10 seconds. We'll know on uh, the replay here, but it is just so much performant. You also have a lot more going on here. I could pass through video cards. I can do a lot of things that makes just, basically unlocks virtualization. It's a true KVM hypervisor. And when you hear the word KVM, that just means kernel-based virtual machine, where a virtual box kind of does it, but not really. I, I think it has KVM capabilities, but I find it still to be laggy. No matter what I do with virtual box, QMU always pulls out ahead. So with that, let's get over here. I made a little bit of a how-to guide. If you use Debian, uh, Ubuntu, Pop OS, all these are basically the same Linux distribution, this guide should work for you. So what you do is you just pull up your terminal and we're just gonna grab uh, this, paste it in, and just make sure this doesn't read zero. What this is doing is it's saying, hey, how many virtualization threads are available? So this is how many processors or virtual processors you could assign and i have 12 threads it's actually a six core system and then you would just grab this these are all the dependencies you need copy paste those in and just put your password in installs all those and then you just double check to make sure it starts and you should see active running perfect cue to quit out of that and then you just install these two things. This is actually just starting the default network and making sure it auto starts when you start your Linux instance. And we're just gonna copy that, put it over here. This just shows you I've already done this. If it says not active or auto starts no, you probably wanna do auto start and you wanna start it with these two commands. And then simply add your user to it so you don't have to like sudo virtual manager or vert manager uh, and what I, what I mean, vert manager, it was just that that GUI earlier. And if we just type uh, vert manager, it's just this. <laughs> so that's what I use to manage everything. I set it up like this, very easy to do, but I want people to stop using VirtualBox when this is just an amazing thing. If you're really into virtual machines, you really need to either dedicate a box to use just a bare metal hypervisor like XCPNG, or you could use Proxmox. Both actually, I think, utilize QMU. I, I think uh, XCPNG actually uses a version of Zen Server, so it's not quite the same, but still the same kind of technology. And it's an amazing thing. So if you're on Windows and you just can't use QMU or you want to try and use the Windows version, it's not very good compared to the Linux version. I say, Try Linux, dual boot Linux, and use it for a virtual machine manager. It's pretty darn amazing for this. I couldn't imagine doing my work without having a very, very good virtual machine manager. And if I had to, I would probably just dedicate a box to something running VMware. You know, you could use ESXi or you could use Proxmox, XCBNG, all the stuff I just mentioned. 
But uh, I wanted to show this video just to kind of showcase the differences between the two. And I'm not saying VirtualBox is terrible. I'm just saying there's a lot better options. It's a virtual box is great for a noob, but once you need to actually start elevating and, and getting, let's say you're in here and you really want to use it, or let's say you want to just have an amazing uh, PCI pass through Windows VM in your Linux box, learning QMU is an absolute must. It's amazing. And I hope this video kind of helps you out in that little guide, kind of gets you to that next step. It's very easy to set up once you know everything uh, about it. Uh, and that guide should help get your foot in the door and get it set up to where you should have that. If you do have performance problems, make sure you go into your BIOS and obviously check for IOMMU and also uh, VT or your virtualization. It'll, it'll vary BIOS to BIOS and also if you're using uh, SVM or, or you know, for regular virtualization with Intel. Either or, uh, you just need to enable those options. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. As always, thank you to everyone that watches this video. Uh, today is actually the last day to get your Debian shirt. If you're interested in uh, this shirt, by all means, uh, click the link below. Today should be the last day, and then that batch closes, and those will all be shipped out. And sometime in the future, I might bring it back, uh, depending on how everybody... Uh, tells me about the shirts. I just wanted to do an initial batch run. So this is the very first uh, merch drop I've ever done. So let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.